Yeah. Hey, Hachi came through with the. What do you have? What do you have in the serpent? Stone, the big jewels. It was. He wasn't wearing no hat rack. My man had the big jewel in. What color was it? Red. Yeah. Ruby. A red ruby. You get money. Hello. Why? Because those people are playing rich. We don't know. It. What happened tonight? Now that we understand, do we understand custom? If you don't understand custom, raise your hand. I'm about to grow everybody in this room. No, I'm just playing. I get what a nation is now. Oh, oh my God. Oh, you graduated. As you out of here, you might as well go home. All right, so you understand what a nation is, guys? So, everybody understands what culture is. Sister, what is your culture? Um, Better question, does it have a name? Well, I, I, I would say it has a name, but I guess that wouldn't be the proper name for it. Well, what would, be, what would you use? See, I don't want to use it, but say it. Ooh, that's, that's a heavy degree. Why don't you want to use it? Because I know it's not the proper, it wouldn't be the proper, proper description of who I am. Well, what would be the proper description for who you are? Well, as far as I can see, I'm Moorish. Sure? Yeah. Well, we know. Nah. Not from what we know. We did what we said. What we know, we did what we said. That's what you know? That's what you know. You sure you know that? Or you retain that? Yeah. Or do you come from slaves? Okay, um... Give me a yes or no before we even go into the explanation. Alright. There's a sister right here gonna give you a one-two. Look at her face. Will you come from the slaves? I was gonna say that's not where we started. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what's like, up. Where you come from? Me? What do you come from? I don't remember your answer. Well, oh, stop being so scary. From my understanding, I am a descendant of people from the continent of Africa. What were those people? What were those people? Or what did they do? What kind of people were these people over there in Africa? I'm not familiar. So you can't really say that you love these people if you don't know what these people like, because these people might be murderers and slave traders and all types of other stuff that you don't know. These people could be uh, warmongers. They could have been uh, human traffickers. They could have had the uh, most expensive female slave trade that the planet has ever seen. So are you sure? Do you know these people? What do you know of these people? Why? How? Where? Who? What am I? You with me? You with me? Somebody quiet in here, man. Y'all sure y'all Asiatic? I was quiet in here. My boy? No. Hell no. So I'm trying to find out like, what's going on. Who are these people? What is the historic continuity of our people? How can we identify the historic continuity of our people? Well, by doing what Malcolm X said, separation. If you think about it, by, by me listening to what I'm hearing now, but Malcolm X is saying that we should have separated, blacks should separate from whites so we can understand that we different and we can have our origin go back to what it's supposed to be original. You know yes. Yeah, well. That's what he was saying. I don't really get it when he was bringing it up. When he was saying it, because it's like, to go to, they wanted separation, they didn't want unity, they didn't want separation again. I, I understand separation without even treatment though, you get what I'm saying? But, I gotta stop this. Well, I love what you were saying. That's not how you do that. The way you do that, brother, knowing your story about annuity, is by studying anthropology. So, uh, sister, look up anthropology. Right now you look up anthropology. You over there in the corner. Proper one, active Moors. Not passive Moors. This is 
secretary is chilling right now. She know I'll be giving her. are people who are nationless. Everybody all right? I'm school. Yeah, so now, yo, I kept, no, I'm not gonna guys say, I kept thinking like, why did Barack Obama go to Spain? You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I kept asking that question. I, I, I was in jail, I was just thinking about like, well, why is he in Spain? What is he in Spain? You know what I'm saying? Him and his wife was in Spain, they took a vacation and all that. And I was just thinking like, no, you know, he honoring his four mothers and forefathers, that's why. He not trying to get in trouble. He know his nationality. He might not say it's Moorish, but he has a body politic that he can describe himself to and thus have a legal relationship with the country, which is the definition colloquially of nationality, even though the legal definition of nationality would still allow him to use Kenya as his nation for the relationship purposes of dealing with himself and the country of the United States of America so that he can become president of the United States of America. Now, natural born or whatever, I couldn't care less because, you know, I voted for him or whatever, but it's not like that was anyone, you know, running against him. So, in 2008, I voted for him because he was black. So, we all got what we wanted. <laughs> That's my man though, but yo, he never called himself black, has he? Has he ever scored as a black in any no. interview? No. I know it. I know it. I know it. You ever seen him next to Farrakhan? You ever seen the president next to Farrakhan? No. Man, the president don't even allow himself to be called black. You know Farrakhan, man? It's all like the my beautiful black brother. You know, you know Obama gonna be like, Oh, you know I'm not black. Uh, I'm king. <laughs> I'm an American. I'm the president. He not gonna sit there and do all that buck dance shuck and jiving with you, man. You know what time it is. But hey, thanks for voting for me. That's a good look. You know what I'm saying, yo. Like, you know, these Mexicans get a nationality, you know, they got these immigration problems, and yo, you know, they got a body politic over there, so you know, we can do international commerce, the international. I can't do that with the blacks, so you know, 
keep it section eight. I got you, man. Um, I eventually allow the places to get gentrified while you are left homeless because you're already stateless, socially, economically, politically, mentally, emotionally, physically. But chill. But ain't that your vote? Nah, man. The concept of consciousness and nationality is the application of nationality in order to establish ourselves in the social, economic, and political sphere by socially learning how to treat ourselves and each other economically, how to spend our money on and with each other, for each other, and politically, how we represent ourselves and each other to the rest of the civilized world. I'm not talking about, let's go to the United Nations and tell all the Europeans, hey look, I said the rest of the civilized world world, i.e. you who know who you are over there and they're not about to come over here because like, how many prophets are Allah going to send you? How many messages are Allah going to We even had Ali Selassie come through with the Jamaicans and a lot of y'all in Harlem jumped on it. And y'all still not good? We got you a prophet. We got you a messenger. We even got you a Malachi York. We had you pyramids in, uh, in Georgia and you still don't know what to do? You still acting up? Wait, and I'm supposed to leave my country? No, when I'm going, I'm going to leave my country. I'm going to come over here. I'm definitely going to holler at you women because y'all niggas is weak. Feel me? And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be making sure that I'm sending money back to my country all the time. Sucking the blood. Who is the 10%? The rich, the slave makers, or the poor who teach the poor lies to believe that the almighty true and living God is a spook that cannot be seen by the physical eye. Otherwise known as the blood suckers of the poor because they're going to keep you with your mind and your eyes on some money that is a mystery because these people do not have any money to give you but they give you a whole lot of credit because you believe in their value system because you believe that they can give you credit when these people don't have any credit because they can't keep their word because they will not obey the laws of Islam. The ways and actions are like a snake of the grafted type. Everyone all right? Nobody needs to know push -ups. Sit up, now, pull it up. Go ahead. Anybody need some water? I didn't want you to say that one more time. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a nice donation, guy. So, I'm going to give you some advice. Social, economic, and political is one of the first things that we should be doing with. But before we get social, economic, and political, we're going to have to get moral, spiritual, and mental. See, a lot of our minds is messed up. Or maybe I'm just speaking for myself and everybody else in here is alright. Everyone else in here is alright, right? None of y'all got any mental problems, right? I think that, I think, I think that, that we gotta, I, I think that we gotta get the nationality of the conscious mind back. Mm. 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 Because consciousness is to be, you know, be aware. Yeah. And to be aware, you gotta use your what? Your brain. You gotta use your brain, and your brain is controlled by your mind, and your mind is controlled by your soul, and your soul is controlled by your spirit, and that spirit is lost. Who will you follow? That's the same thing as asking you what is your religion? Islamism. Is that the new way of thinking or the old way of thinking? The old way of thinking. Well, what's the old way of thinking? Peace. Peace on earth. Good will to men. So we have to deal with our moral problems. Morally, we're not right and exact. No amount of religion is going to make somebody moral. You're going to need to explain to these people why doing things are wrong. You're going to need to explain to these people why they are mentally deficient. The brother right here. Brother right here says that um, when I asked him his profession, he said, "Well, um, I uh, I work for the I, I work with the mentally deficient." I said, "Yeah, no more. But what do you do outside of the temple?" <laughs> <laughs> now I'm saying, because if I'm if I'm walking into the temple, I, I'm mentally deficient. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I'm going or where I came from or why. Where am I? Toto. You ain't gonna lie out there. You can skip down the yellow brick road barefoot, man, kicking rocks. You know what I'm saying? When you walk to the temple, they're like, it's not brother. Oh, should I take my shoes off? My shoes. Listen, man, we got to get you some socks. Matter of fact, we got to get you some oil. We got to wash your feet. Matter of fact, we don't even walk in. Walk, stand right there. Yo, get this man some oil. Uh, he needs some 
He needs some water and the prophet's oil. His feet is crazy right here. Boom. Boom. We're going to blow him up. We're going to give you some socks. We're going to give you some boots. You know what I'm saying? Now you can stand. Now you're standing. You can stand here, right? You got it? You good? All right. You got it? Okay. All right. Balance? You have balance. Can you stand? Are you balanced? Okay, now you're balanced. Are you supposed to be stuck there? No, you gotta move. You walk. You walk. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on. People is like 38 and 41 years old. They can't walk for themselves. You gotta walk. Come on. See me? I'm real rough. I'm just. Come on, I'm jacked. I'm saying, you can't do that, man. Chill, up, fella. Walk. Take the first step. Okay, you close yourself, you're right, you're good, you're right. You can do it, you can make it, don't worry. You're self-conscious, it's all right. You're going to be able to do what you need to do, relax. You understand? And you're walking. You're walking. Eventually, he starts hearing remarks. He's able to speak. Man, dad. To mother, father, to progenitor. You know, and then, as he can speak, and now he can walk, now he can read, now he can write, he can see, he can hear. Now he's competent. Now that you're competent and you're in here, it's time for you to deal with those who aren't competent. So you teach them. Because remember, he was just there. He was just there, man. You crawled in the temple barefoot, man, after skipping down the yellow brick road. Come on, man. You work with that brother and you work with him and you work with that sister and those sisters work with that brother and those brothers work with that sister with those sisters and they all working with each other until now everybody's balanced. They can walk mentally, they're thinking, they can make judgments, they can make you sensible and judicious and they can have sensible and judicious interactions between people. This is policy. I feel people too the I feel people the feel Let's not worry about people, let's just worry about us. This is what we're gonna do. We're not It'd be nice to see. I'm not, I'm saving the world, but we can't save everyone in the guy. Can I, 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 I hear what you're saying? I just, I was like, I was trying to like, uh, that's one of the aspects of people I would try to get everybody to think on the same plane. Yeah, I'm going to get everybody. I mean, the plan that was already blown up once, oh, trying to have everybody speak the same way. That chill, you got to work, no? Or are you, like, if you the same credit, the, the same amount of it, then you should all care about the same. Yeah, but that doesn't really matter in the Bronx because Venture Projects and Milk Group Projects still shoot at each other and they're right across the street and my haven right up the block and you know, Patterson come through with a shotgun, you know what I'm talking about? And the Patances come through with a street sleeve, you know what I'm talking about? And then none of them like Jackson, so it sounds good. But let's deal with the reality of the situation today. Okay, we know what it could be like, we know what it should be like. It's not. Stop talking about it. We here now, right? All right, can you teach your children what you know? Yeah. All right, can you teach your children what you know? All right, so then that's it. Lead by example. They gonna see when you're walking through those projects if that's what you do, that's what I do. So when I walk through, and I keep my bop, and I keep my fest. Okay, if it's, my, if it's my time to go today, I guess so, what up? Yo, what you doing here? Teach your nationality, what's yours? Why not? What I got better to do? Oh, work for the devil? Fat you know. That's just me, that's what I do. That's what I, in my mind, I establish my solution and I go do it. I don't sit on Facebook telling people, oh, you need to be a more. I'm in the streets. I'm with killers. I'm with drug dealers, pimps, gangbangers. I love it. I'm like, yes, all of you can be successful men of high society, culture, refinement. And yet, I'm by myself, so they're like, all right, you did it, but what makes you think we can do it? You just did it alone. And now here we are. Now we can all walk through there and say, hey, I don't think I did it alone. Matter of fact, I don't think you gotta do it alone. But you're doing Wednesday at 7. You know we start at 7.30, you know they're gonna be late. Tell them to start at 7. That's all. Keep it real. Keep it, you know your people, if you know your people, treat them like you know them. That's all. Everybody understand what customer? Culture. Let me hear a yes, please. Everybody know what custom is? Yes. yes. Culture. Yes. Yes. Tradition. Yes. Yes. Religion. Yes. yes. What is the language that our forefathers spoke? Spanish. Okay. 
So Yatra, you don't have to answer next time. Everybody else. Ballad of the Bullet. I don't know why. You're good. You got it. 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 Why is that I get excited when people know what they're talking about? But when people know what they're talking about, they go out there in the streets, it's not up for debate. This is not a dispute. This is not an argument. This is what it is. Now take you and save yourself. That's mathematics. That's the language that I flow. We ain't gonna sit here and argue with you. Crazy? People got killed for less back then in the 1500s. 1480. 1312, 1436, Muhammad and Calendar time, right now, 10, 11,000 miles away, people dying for less. It's important that we know who we are because if we think we're going through things here, we're not in Gaza. We're not getting bombed every day. We might be subjected to some abuses and mistreatments, but Allah is being merciful. There's people getting bombed every day. Before our condition gets there, and we think that our conditions can be better, before we go out and try to find somewhere that can make us better, we need to start making ourselves better. We need to start coming together with each other and learning, building, growing, establishing, and then executing. Learning, building, growing, establishing, and then that is a really dead class, man. I'm about to start finding you. Come on. What did I say? Learning, building, growing, establishing, and together. Yes, together. Right. Say it again. Learning, Learning building, building, growing, growing establishing, establishing, executing together. 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 Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta do it together. So now that, alright, so we got custom, culture, tradition, religion, and language. Historic continuity was explained briefly, it doesn't really have to go in, we should all know. Historic continuity is the history that continued when things, you know, is the history that continued, everything else after that is nothing. It's the history that continued, right? And then body politic, what's that? That's for Thursday's class. And so, I don't like to. Thank you all for listening and your participation. Thank you for participating. You know, I give honors to all of you for attending, learning, growing, building, establishing, executing, together. You know what I'm saying? And inshallah, we'll see each other next week. Please keep your notes. Please keep all of your class notes. We'll be very limited, happy, and the best semester. So you really should be keeping all your notes. Be sure to bring a pen and pad with you next time. Learn and study. Because if I have your number, which I do, I'm going to grill you, which I am. And so can I ask you a question? Is this to bring all boys together or just black boys? I understand that we don't You already know. I'm, I'm not saying like that. I understand. And so, like, and, and, and so with that, y'all, you're going to just come next week, y'all, because you, you just, I guess everything just went over your feds. Let them all them barrios for a little while. You need to get, the, you need to, you need to get into the custom. Um, until then, you know, like I said, thank you for listening. I hope all of you get home safely. And yeah, man, feel free to leave a donation. I'll pay for this thing. Peace.